Brian, a group of performers is ready to show you live entertainment like you've never seen before this weekend. The Champions of Magic are making a stop at the Tanger Center Sunday night with impossible illusions and spectacular special effects. And this isn't just your ordinary magic show. And to tell us all about it, I'd like to welcome Richard Young and Fernando Velasco. They are illusionists with the Champions of Magic. So great to have you guys joining us live. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Synchronized good morning. I like that. So let's begin with you, Richard. So what makes this different from your traditional magic show? Bring it to life for us. Well, most of the magic in Champions of Magic you can't see anywhere else. It features five magicians and we each have a different speciality. So uh, if you come to the show, you'll see the grandest of grand illusions. Uh, you'll see mind reading, close-up magic, and Fernando Velasco recreates Harry Houdini's famous upside down water torture cell which you know hasn't been seen for many years so it's a really exciting family friendly show oh wow i'm glad you mentioned family friendly that's important to note here fernando what goes into practicing these sort of acts and illusions how do you guys prepare well i think for me uh the biggest thing is being able to get past the fear um once you get past the fear of like uh, being stuck upside down underwater <laughs> uh, things become a lot easier. Uh, so it's just a matter of practicing, you know, breathing, eating healthy, staying in good uh, shape, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah. <laughs> Gosh, so much planning though, right? Is it like, okay, planning practice makes perfect sort of thing? Like you have to be ready and I'm sure hours and hours go into putting these, show, putting these shows on. Yeah, but I, I guess you know, it's a live show, so anything can go wrong at any time, and uh, we just have to be prepared for it. Um, but hopefully nothing does go wrong, because <laughs> it wouldn't end up very nicely. <laughs> oh, gosh. Um, what about the specialty, sort of special things that the audience will see on Sunday night? What other illusionists um, will go on? What else will you guys present? Well, I work in a duo with another magician, and uh, we're like a comedy illusion act, and we do a parody uh, to 1980s Las Vegas, like Siegfried and Roy style, wow. big grand illusions, all done with silly costumes, bright lighting, pyrotechnics. And uh, yeah, it's kind of, um, you know, a lot of illusionists take themselves quite seriously. And um, as, a, as a British person, I struggle to understand why. So I don't understand how you can have a big ego when you just uh, <laughs> do magic for a thing. Um, so we really sort of point, point and, uh, and laugh at the kind of bygone era of magic. Um, but yeah, no, it's a really exciting show. Actually, we've just had a tech week in Kentucky and we've just added a couple of brand new illusions. So, um, some of them have literally never been on a stage before. You won't have seen them before. So it's, wow. it's a really exciting time. And also the, show. the, the shows are quite different from other magic shows because the five uh, different performers come on stage together and we do magic together, um, okay. as one, something that you wouldn't see in another magic show. Oh, absolutely. So unique. And we're showing some of the video from some previous shows. And I think that the entertainment factor is like out of this world. Like I can imagine just constantly being entertained, like nothing is boring. Everyone is ooing and aahing and wow. Like I've never been to a show, so I, I can just imagine what that would be like. For you guys, why did you decide to get into this line of work? Is it something you always dreamt of doing? Well, yeah, I mean, as you can probably tell from my accent, actually, I'm from England, and this is a, a proper international show. The magicians are from all over the world, and uh, yeah, it was, for me personally, it was like my dream job to be a, a magician. I saw David Copperfield when he toured the UK back in the early 90s and sort of fell in love with big, spectacular magic, and we all got similar stories. In fact, there's a segment in the show uh, where we all talk about how we got into magic and our sort of first experiences and sort of recreate the first tricks that we saw um oh. so yeah it, we're all very very lucky literally you know from a small town in england and now currently touring all over america with you know the biggest magic show in the world so it's really exciting hats off to you for sure to see your dream come to life and fernando you can answer quickly before we let you go uh yeah well i got into magic when i was 11 and uh when i discovered it it was sort of like i had found my vehicle in entertainment and um, i was instantly bitten by the bug 
Oh, well, congrats, you guys. I wish you a successful night on Sunday. We appreciate you t your time here joining us live. And you can see the Champions of Magic at the Tanger Center in Greensboro this Sunday. Those tickets are still available. You can grab yours at tangercenter.com. Sounds exciting.